I was pretty disappointed, to be honest. It's a little disappointing. It's uh, certainly disappointing. This seems to be the reaction of some students and faculty around campus. And even though the Dragons seemed close, they couldn't quite write the check. I felt like we were within striking distance and that we could achieve, achieve where we wanted to get. Unfortunately, we just didn't quite get to the bottom line. At the very beginning of the process, we sat down and we mapped out, here's where we need to be here, here's where we need to be here, and here's where we need to be here. You know, for, fortunately, the goals we had set for the end of February, we just didn't make. Some believe the Fargo-Moorhead area would have heavily supported Dragon hockey. It would have been nice to have a hockey team, I guess, just because this community is all hockey. I think we would have had a lot of fans that we don't even know about right now, right? Uh, maybe not MSU Moorhead as much as Dragon hockey. They might be Bison fans in football, but they would become Dragon hockey fans in the winter. And with Division One hockey a no-go, Scott looks at it as a chance gone by for the fans. And I think if you have any kind of MSU event, when you have the potential for four or 5,000 people watching on a weekend, I, I think that speaks volumes about uh, what it would mean right now and then down the road. I, I do think it could help the whole image of the university too. To me, it's not a failure at all. What it is is simply just a missed opportunity. With hockey now on the back burner, those waiting for tickets will have to wait a little longer. With photographer Robert Swanson, Chase Miller, Campus News Sports.